um i'm married right and the thing with uh, being married i'm happily married and i'll tell you why i'm happily married right <laughs> i don't know this always gets a joke oh happy and married ha ha i don't know man i can't be one of those single good dudes way past their you know 30s living like a bachelor i can't man i don't know what it is with married people we just have nicer houses <laughs> You know what I mean, right? We just have nicer houses. I can't stay in a bachelor pad. <laughs> my friend Ashwin moved from Chennai to Bangalore. Said, "Dude, you should come and check out my place. Really nice place." I went. Really nice apartment. Only two things were there in his house. <laughs> two. Water cooler, PlayStation. <laughs> said, "Man, you had to get some furniture." Exactly. After one month, he said, "You should come and play PlayStation now. It's fully furnished." I went over there. This was his idea of fully furnished. Just a wooden bed. <laughs> no mattress. <laughs> Just a wooden cot. But there's all these exercise equipment like pull-up bars and and kettlebells and resistance bands, right? And yoga mats. And you ask him why are you working out so much? You know what he told me? Treat your body like it's your home. <laughs> Hypocrisy. I should also tell you this, man. Uh, over the last few years, I've been working in a few startups. I worked in two startups, right? Best part of working in a startup: no one has any idea what's going on. <laughs> no, no clue. They're all looking at each other. Hey, do you know the answer? Do you know the answer? Do you know the answer? Like, how are you asking me? You're the founder. This... <laughs> There's no conviction because you have no idea what's going on. People do this thing called consulting. <laughs> Where some expert will tell you how to run your business. The only problem is Google top ten consultants in Bangalore. All ten of them, all startups. <laughs> so it's a circle of ignorance where nobody knows anything, right? This one guy called Gokul has to get on a Google Meet call with me, share his screen, right? So Gokul, can you please share your screen? Sir, one minute, sir. Net is a bit slow. <laughs> One entire minute passes by, right? Gokul, can you share your screen now? Sir, just talking to my manager. I'll be right back. Puts off camera, puts off mic, goes off. Four minutes is passing by, right? Have you ever been so disengaged in a job that in between a Google Meet, you plan a Euro trip? <laughs> <laughs> it will only cost so much in expenses. I can make it happen. Right? Five minutes passes by of me staring at an empty screen with a letter G. <laughs> And after five minutes, Anu said, "Gokul, can you please share your screen now?" After five minutes of wasting my time, this guy shares his screen. The first tab that is open: how to share screen on Google Meet. <laughs> <laughs> that first startup was complete chaos. I was working in IT at that point of time. Small team of ten people, right? There was an intern that joined us because we didn't want to do some copy-paste Excel work, right? Intern joins us. Intern, I don't know where he got this confidence from. Within three months, because there's no rules in the startup, right? Within three months, he started dating his manager. <laughs> Can you imagine the confidence of this person? He is getting paid a stipend, which is a polite word of saying pocket money. <laughs> And he is dating his manager. And the best part is, after two years, I was in that startup, right? This guy got promoted to assistant manager. <laughs> I was in the same team, and I told the HR, "Listen, a little biased promotion, I think that side." I said, "No, no, 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 no. We're not promoting him because of that. We're promoting him because his performance is good. Where? <laughs> <laughs> We hired him as a data analyst. What spreadsheet is he working on? <laughs> It's fantastic. Now the startup that I work at is great, right? I work as a HR, by the way." <laughs> The saddest thing about being a HR is I'm supposed to make people happy, but it's impossible to make people happy. No one's happy. Never in my life did I think that I'd be using my educational degrees to order cakes for people. <laughs> that is impossible to believe, right? And it's the hardest thing I've done. When I say cake, what is the first cake that comes to your mind? Chocolate, right? Thank you, right? Order a chocolate cake for the first person. Dear Harshit, celebrate your day. Enjoy your day. Have a great day. Happy birthday to you. And here's something to you, to help you enjoy, right? He wrote back to us. Do you not know that I don't eat chocolate? <laughs> no, Harshit, I did not know. In fact, nobody knows about you. You have 20 followers on Instagram, <laughs> on a public profile. 
So I said, okay, fine. Chocolate is a very specific preference. Order a vanilla cake with cream on top, right? Order the first vanilla cake after we change it from chocolate to the next person. Dear Neha, you are an asset to our organization. Celebrate this day. Have a great day. Happy birthday. You know what she said? Do you not know <laughs> that I'm lactose intolerant? <laughs> <laughs> so now, the cake that we order is an award-winning cake. It's a non-chocolate. Lactose free, vegan, gluten free, eggless cake that tastes like cardboard. <laughs> These guys have won. Ordered it for the first person who's celebrating the day after we change this cake policy. Right? Dear Sneha, you're an asset to our organization. Celebrate this day. We have taken great pains to make this cake non offensive to you. Happy birthday. Do you know what she said? Do you not know that I don't celebrate my birthday? <laughs> It's an impossible situation, man. Like, yeah, people don't understand. Being a HR, you have to listen to the most ridiculous complaints, right? Like, we ordered a laptop for a person, and this is exactly what he wrote back to us. And I quote, the keyboard makes a very loud clicking sound, and it's causing my head to ache. Right? I got fed up, dude. There's only a certain point after which I'm a HR. Afterwards, I become a comedian. <laughs> I just started sending him articles about the current job market. <laughs> Said, what keyboard? Okay, here's an article. Amazon fires thousand employees in mass layoff. <laughs> it's absolutely horrible. But here's the best part. I don't know what you guys believe in, but this is how it all made sense to me. Okay, like I think certain things are just external to us. It's this is all random, right? There's random bad stuff, there's random good stuff. And sometimes the good stuff makes up for the bad stuff. I'll give you an example. I am from Tamil Nadu. Okay. Now the worst thing that happened was a tsunami. Really sad, a lot of people lost their lives. But Another, another thing that they have to compensate, CSK. <laughs> what a great team. They didn't deserve both of these things. <laughs> right? Now, I am a fan of the most unsuccessful cricket team, which is? <laughs> right? <laughs> it's a heartbreak. You do. Oh, man. 100% failure rate across IPLs. <laughs> But we still support that team. I don't know how. <laughs> this is proof that love exists. <laughs> now the thing is, I was thinking about this. Like, why are we such an unsuccessful dream, right? We've lost so many IPLs. That's because Bangalore, there's been no natural calamity. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Zero. There have been two bomb blasts in my 31 years in Bangalore. And you know how many people died in each of these bomb blasts? One per blast. <laughs> And you know why that is the case, right? Because a terrorist organization that planned this bomb blast, they were also a startup. 